Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you all doing well. Today I'm here to show you again one of the most requested a recipe. Um, this is all you need to make this recipe. Basically, I am making today mushmush. Mushmush is a Somali traditional fried uh, dough. For that, all you need is plain flour, sugar, this is melted sugar, oil for frying, and water for mixing the dough. That's all you need to make mushmush. How simple is that? Not really. It's not that simple. Uh, it takes practice. It takes the right mixing and frying. So uh, first I'm going to show you how the mixing is done. Then I'm going to show you how the frying is done and what pan you need to fry. So, so let's get started and mix this. Uh, make sure you follow the exact measurement that I will write down on the description box below. So I have here my plain flour. As I said, this is sugar syrup that I have melted sugar and water cooked together for about seven minutes or 10 minutes until you have nice, not too liquidy and not too um, hard as well, just the right consistency. So with this um, plain flour, I'm just going to add some warm water and mix this really well now the technique of mixing the mushmush is similar to anjero so you have to kind of beat this it's very thick because we have sugar here so just keep beating that for about five minutes until it's nice and smooth so now that we've mixed with water and the plain flour here comes the sugar and i'm just going to add bit by bit and mix it make sure the sugar um, is not too hot otherwise you will burn your hands basically so once it has come to a room temperature then start mixing in your mushmush again with the same technique mix that in add that the rest of it and mix really well until the two are very all combined well again follow the same technique as I told you as if you are making anjero kind of beat it and this is the consistency that you are looking for so just now this is um, ready but I'm going to be sharing with you another secret tip that not many people tell you is to leave this for about at least half an hour or you can actually make this mixture overnight and just let it sit there the the secret of leaving any type of dough is that it it just does its magic if it needs the yeast some some dough that need yeast obviously you need time for the yeast to work others for example sabayat um, pancakes and mush mush you just need to give this a little bit of time for it to work and do its magic so as I said I'm just going to let this sit at least half an hour or even an hour two hours it doesn't matter I'm gonna come back to it once I'm ready to fry this so cover and set aside I also wanted to show you the pan that we use when frying the mush mush. As you can see, it's really round shaped and deep inside. 
what happens is uh, when using this type of pan you will get all this um, the way a mushmush should look basically if you are using flat proper flat um, pan frying then you might not get that uh, beautiful look on mushmush so these are the type of pans that you should be using um, I don't know where exactly to tell you but the most Asian uh, shops do have these type of frying pans as you can see it's kind of deep in it's really worth buying one of these to be honest uh, it's a lifesaver and you get this beautiful look on your mush mush especially since so many people have messaged me on snapchat complaining that their mush mush never looks like mine what is the secret this is the secret that's all really as long as you have your mixture right you have your pan you're good to go anyway let's make this rest for a bit and then come back and fry it inshallah so guys this has been resting for the past an hour or so so now it's ready to fry grab a spoon looking like this and i have here the oil nice and hot make sure to fry the mush mush uh on a medium heat not too low and not too high because you don't want to burn it and or let it sit there for hours and hours and not fry so just a medium heat is fine take some and pour in the middle and just wait for it no turning over needed just let it cook by itself as you can see it's starting to work you need to have this look all around the mush mush and this takes time so be patient and use only medium heat if it's the, the heat is too low then you might not get this if the heat is too high then you will have burned mush mush but on, on inside it won't be as cooked as as you can see this is a liquid um, butter so it needs time so be patient so it only takes about a couple of minutes to have this looking color make sure you have clean cloth not tissue and place it right here and let this absorb the excess oil if i just show you how it looks you see this color not too dark otherwise it will be just burned but look how beautiful the top looks again still on a medium heat grab some make sure not too full and then just pour this in a little and let the heat do the magic another thing that i want to tell you is make sure you don't fill the pan with oil each time if you run out of oil just grab the oil and add a little bit only a little bit at a time for frying um, otherwise if you fill the pan you will not have this round shaped uh, mush mush with beautiful color on top so again in the middle all right everyone the mush mush is now complete this is how it's looking and it's looking absolutely beautiful this is this is how mush mush should look like if you have a mush mush that is flat and there's no um, as you can see all these bubbles around then there's something wrong that you are doing uh, it's either the, the way you you mixed the whole butter or the frying pan so whichever it is I hope this video helps it and kind of uh, make you understand where you are going wrong when making mush mush and it gets better from now on the more you make it the better it will get so don't give up keep trying and also the measurement is very 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 important i will be writing down all the measurements you need to make this so make sure you follow exactly the same measurement 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you benefit from it and can't wait to see you your recreation of this recipe inshallah but let's appreciate how amazing this is looking as always let's take a bite mm. Mm. delicious all you need is sambusa that's all you need we have sambusa or bajia and you are good to go inshallah i hope you like it if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe like share and comment your thoughts inshallah and i will see you soon with more recipes take care